Hi everyone, now I'm going to be tying this fly here I'm just going to take my fingers away so you can see it Now this is basically the part shrimp uh, Now I have got it on my YouTube uh, But basically I've tied it different ways I've tied, I'm sure I've tied it on a, a hook as well Now th these are um, brass tubes These are basically called T-tubes uh, these are these ones are from Sean Stanton. Uh, has a flange at the end, which makes it e very easy to tie the fly when you're tying up against it. You get a nice ledge or edge. So they obviously with standard tubes, there's no it, but it's just straight through. Uh, I mean, uh, you don't have any issue, but you, you can slip off the end, sort of thing. But with the flange at the end, it makes it easier just to get a nice neat, so lovely square head like. Uh, and tying materials up against up against it. Now, as I say, I have I have this fly uh, basically on YouTube, but not tied on this this type of tubing. Now, basically, it comes. Let me show you a smaller one here. But basically, there's no inner tubing in these. Uh, but I mean, you can buy it and put the liner, as they call it, and and put it on if you wish. But to be honest with you, these are clean enough. They're smooth enough at the ends, but you don't really need to. That's my personal view. I feel that they're fine, they're clean. Uh, you know, I do some of the stuff I've seen over the years, but these are these are clean as a whistle, as they say. Now I'm put it onto. This is a HMH tube fly adapter. It's quite simple. And basically, just onto your vice and tighten up. And all, and what I'm doing because. With these type of tubing, uh, you, you like to put a sleeve at the back. You should have one with a sleeve. I've got an old one here. Uh, here's one I've used. But it's got a sleeve in at the back. This one, this is clear. You can get different colours. Uh, I don't know if there's any line around with the different colours. But basically, you can put silicon at the back, silicon sleeve. Oh, here's a wee one with the, with the colour. But this actually suits, uh, what do you call it, the part shrimp. Uh, this colour, it really brightens up at the back if you want to use it. Now, it's reasonably easy to tie, it's just a lot to it, there's a lot of bits and pieces, but uh, quite simple. Uh, thread choice is you can either use 6 o or 8 o in this case I'm using uni and red. So I'm just going to start at the, obviously, top of the tube and put a layer of thread all the way down. It doesn't even have to be perfect, but close enough turns all the way down to I like to leave at least the space of the 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 sleeve at the back. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna tie in some medium or even small small wire which is gonna protect the, the the fly or protect the body and the materials. Uh, and you'll see the reason why when I tie it. So this is a small small to medium wire does. So I'm going to catch this on the length of the body sort of thing. Uh, I've got a large gold, this is just a holographic tinsel, it could be a plain gold if you want. The UTC or whatever make, there's quite a few out there, it could be uni as well. So I'm just going to come up like a tag length. And then we're looking for two or three turns. Let me catch it on. Now obviously the wire's at the back. It's going to it's going to rub the tag to protect it. It needs protected because this is just a, a shiny mylar as they call it. Now the tail I'm going to be using uh, this is Arctic Run Arctic Runner in hot orange. Then I'm going to be using uh, bucktail in yellow. So. This is going to be top and bottom of the, the yellow, so a wee drop of the, the orange. You don't need much. It's a good highlight. It's a great fly, this. It's a great colour combination and uh, catches a lot of fish. It's a very good spring fly. Um, it takes some of the longer guard hairs away. Now, I, the measure is I usually go the tube length, tie that on top. Catch one with two or three turns. Then I get the yellow bucktail. Again, you can you can reduce the bulk. You can build it up. And spring flies. I mean, there's a lot in this fly, so uh, 
I mean, there's, it's going to certainly show up. Color-wise, it's uh, as I say, it's a great color combination. So you've got your attic running, and it's just caught in with two or three turns. You want at least the yellow twice the length of the tube over the back. So that's the way I like to measure it. So I've got a balance fly, it depends what size I'm tying. So there's my length there. Catch this on, three or four turns. Again, just, just leave it. Now, a bit of flash, a crystal flash. Now it can be all different colours. You could use yellow, it could be just plain pearl. You could put whatever you like. So I'm going to take four lengths. And this one's hot orange, I'll show you there. Uh, there's the colour. It's just a crystal flash. You use a mobile, meaning like a uh, crinkle flash or anything like that. That, that. That's good. Or you could just leave it out, it's up to yourself. Now I'm going to cut this at a slight angle. Take my fingers out of the way. So we'll get, it's going to give me a taper. So if I lift this up, cut it at a certain angle. You'll see that like, it's a tapered cut. I'll just taper it down. For the remains of the flash, keep that for the wing. Just an under wing, some flash. Actually it's moist and it's sitting at my desk, so it doesn't go all over the place. And then now what you want to do is really tidy up. Plenty of wax, make sure it's secure. Come back up. Now I'm going to tie in some more of the, the Arctic Runner on hot orange in this case. Just the same amount I put underneath the tail. Um, you could have tidied it all up at the same time, but it's just getting a bit much. Uh, so I like to sort of break it up. So there's my length again, half the tail length. Just tie that on the top. Again, I'll show you the taper cut in a way. So there's a straight, if you use the scissors quite straight like that. I'll give you a taper. It's a very, it's a shrimp fly this. It's, it's got a shrimpy look, so it's thick at the back and tapers towards the base of the head. Or the front of the tube. Come back up. Make sure we're all squared up. Sitting nice, that's okay. Check my tail. Uh, it's lovely, that's fine. Now I'm just going to use, this is a, it's called FNF, this is Fry Gold uh, from an F, FNF, that's, uh, there you are. Um, it's just a type of gold light bright, but it's a lovely gold, it's like an old gold as I call it. It just comes off in a strand, it's very fine. And all you do is just bring a thread up and lay it on the side and you, you just go one way, roll the fingers through it and let it twist onto your, your thread. Very simple. Slide it up. Well, we'll need to do this again because of the length of the tube. So we start at the back. Oh, nearly forgot, sorry. Slide that down. Because there's a lot to this fly. The Opal Mirage. This is a large Opal Mirage tinsel. I have some in my desk. And when you go to the smaller sizes, you want a uh, sort of medium. Nearly forgot that. It's important this goes on because it adds a lot of colour to it. So I'll just slip my dubbing out of the way to make sure this is tied on. Just means I've got to go up and back down again. The wire wants to get in the way, but you just have to be patient with the materials and lay them back out of the way. And we start to feed on the, the gold flash. And we just work our way up. Just twist and tighten it to suit. So see, you only get about halfway usually. In this size anyway. A wee bit more. You don't want to put too much on. You see there's the length there. It is like a mobile at the moment but and you can use it in the fly. I mean there's a in with the mix. But it's a great body. Just slightly dub it on. Now there's a, a wing and two hackles and jungle cock up the top so give yourself probably a good couple of head lengths and a wee touch from there. Now this Myler, this uh, UTC Opal Mirage is a weak fibre so to protect it I've got to cross rub it with the wire. The wire's going to protect the fly so I've got to wind that the same way I wind my thread but with this tinsel I'm going to wind it towards myself because it, the wire will hold it. Just draw anything going forward, back. This turn on the head here is just so that I can catch it on and fold it back so it's really secure. It's a very soft. 
material so you can fold it back. Now we're going to wind up, so we're going to protect the tag at the back, so a straight turn with the wire, and we're winding the same way we wind with thread. I usually like a couple of turns onto the tag, up to the tail, and then as we come up we're actually cross ribbing the open marash, make, make it quite wide, so you're looking about three, or three turns anyway. So we come straight up with the wire, follow it up with the thread, put a 90 degree bend into the wire, that basically locks in those tight turns, stops it slipping back, and then make sure it's secure. It's important that you secure that in because basically that's what's holding the, the fly together. Give it a wax on my thread. Just open my tail out, so it's like it's sitting up a wee bit, but that's fine. It will settle, settle down. Now the flash wheel we're using in the tail, you could put it on the wing or under the wing. I usually like it under the wing. So I usually then put it towards the, there's the orange, if you look at the orange. So there's the flash coming towards the end of that. Come over the top, two or three turns down, fold it, two or three turns back up. Trim away and keep that for your next fly. We've got some black, this is black Arctic Runner. So again, enough for the ring. Trim that down the base, base of the skin, don't trim it away halfway up. And then I usually just clear out some of the under fur. There's some nice guard hairs there you see. But you're looking for the, the under fur to reach again towards the end of the, the orange or just slightly short at the end. So we're getting a taper. So you don't want it away over up here. You want it down, say around about here. That's fine. That's, that's it. So I'm going to Trim it so it's the length. Because we've got quite a big area here to tie it on. So we go there. Now, I, at times I like to cut the thread into these ends like that and keeping the hair on top two or three turns. Now, you, you can do that, I mean, it's a great way of holding the hair like a wing uh, and a standard fly. And uh, but with the cause we've got that much of a space here, we can basically just tie it straight on. But still worth doing, practicing. Now I'm going to put a wee touch of varnish or super glue in this case, and then quickly run it up. Now that's only for strength. When uh, I, obviously it's a good way of protecting fly and lasting longer just by doing that. You don't need to do it. There's enough. My, the tying thread would have held it, but just to show you that you, it just makes sense just to do it. Now what I'm going to do here is a mix of, uh, I've got yellow, dyed yellow, this is badger, this is the white and brahma capes, he's a really, really well marked, and this is a golden yellow from Vineyards to get this nice colour. So I'm just going to put the yellow in first, so I'm going to tie it in close to the tips to get the best colour, that's what I want to tie it in. Right. Up against the wing here or the side. I usually come down three or four turns, fold back the tip, come up three or four turns, make sure secure, I keep the thread tight, and I can nip off or break off the tip of the hackle and use the back of your scissors here just to fold the hackle, just run it down, that fold it, makes it easier to sort of lay it back and wind it up. Now, number of turns is entirely up to you again. It's it's a winter, but it's, it's got a big size. I mean, it's a big fly. This, so happy with that. So like three turns there. It's the best of that hackle anyway. And three or four turns to make sure it's secure. Trim away. Just tidy that area up. Now I'm going to put the jungle cock on at this point. So in two nice, two large eyes. Uh, see what I've got. There's, I've always looking through the jungle cock eyes here. It's there's not many. It's not split at this size, but these are two good ones. The easiest way to to line them up is just to lay one on top of the other. I like to put both on at the same time. Check my length. Come over, hold them with your finger and thumb. Come down. And two or three turns. Now I'm just checking, 
after pulling this one a wee bit here. Checking my length. There we go. So once I'm happy with the length and both are sitting right, it's fine. I just head down towards the, the flange is the this groove is quite simple because we're building up towards it. Just I just then fold back the hackle or the jungle cock stems, trim them away then once I've done that. Do the other one. Again when you tidy this area up. The lots of area to work. Now this here we've got another this is a Brahma. Now it looks very orange, there's a bit of red in this, it's hot orange and red dye, it's a nice blend. Yeah, it's basically, I call it flame because of the colour, yeah, it's, a, it's a nice mix. Again we're going to tie this in by the tip. So just pull back the fibres, catch it on the side, there's the tip of the hackle there. Just fold it back, three or four turns down, fold it back. Just make sure things are tidy, trim that, take that away, or the tip away anyway, you can break it off. Wax your thread, then again, I'm, this time I'm just going to fold the hackle if you can, just to give you an idea, you don't, if you don't want to use your scissors, some people don't like using it. So you just fold it with your fingers. Now, I'm going to put in, well, I could probably get another fly out of this hackle. I'm just looking at the colour blend. I don't want too much. Just if I'm happy with it, then I can follow up. 90 degree bend. Just drawing back these fibres. Come down towards the end of the tube. Draw back. Again, fold it back. These Brahma necks, uh, you can get saddles as well. If you want to tie some larger flies, they're really nice. They're well marked and dye extremely well. So once we're happy, we fold that back, we can then nick that off or break it off. And just tidy up this. Then basically that's the fly finished, which is what finish. If you want to brighten the head up, it's got this nice bright fluorescent red, which is a good aiming point. And you can leave it the way it is. Uh, I'm using, this is uh, the Glow Bright Floss number 4. So I'm just going to tie this on. You could use varnish over the top of it, you could do what you like. I used to ping it off like a normal thread. And then, quick finish. Turn that away. And there we are. It's always best to take it out, but what I like to do is, uh, for, sp for speed and for strength, this is just super glue. And all I'm doing is touching. You don't want it run, up, running into the dressing. Just a very light touch. It's enough. Now what happens is this really sets quick and hard. And then you want a couple of coats of varnish. And basically that's it. I'll take it off the, the adapter so you can actually see. Uh, so you can see your, your shape. I mean, th and this and when this is in the water, you get a lovely teardrop shape. Just gonna brush the fibre through. So you can see it. Once it's in the water, uh, you get a, a very mobile uh, fly. Now you could use this is these are cock hackles, obviously. Uh, you can use hen hackles, but getting the colour, the dense and sometimes you could just use plain colours if you want it like but instead of the badger it's another way of doing it much like a, like a cascade this is very cascade like but that's you that's the, the part shrimp uh, tied on a, a metal tube a great fly great to fish and uh, catches a lot of I mean it really does well it's a good spring fly as much as a, throughout the season it will catch right through the season but it is renowned as a good spring fly. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And again, thanks for watching.